people watching, it can retalk. <laughs> they want to learn how to grow their social media because if, if y'all went through the free baller mindset course, link in the description, I talk about the ways to really get money is you got to have leverage and leverage is a form of like media. It was money and skills. Those are the, <laughs> like the trifecta. And how do you grow social media pages so fast? What, what is it about the way you do short form content? Can we give these guys some takeaways about your? You know, well, I think what we do different than most is we focus on TikTok where most people don't like somebody that's a YouTuber mm -hmm. or like they want like because TikTok, I mean, it doesn't make much money. Right. Yeah. And it's not really I, I don't foresee it being one that's going to make a lot of money in the near future. But mm -hmm. you cannot be it's like a it's like a gateway pass to cool. What the Internet deems is cool starts on TikTok. So you mm -hmm. have to learn how to hack what's cool or at least speak a video in a way that the younger demographic thinks is cool. So that way they watch it and then it gets pushed. Because mm. then when they watch it, if it gets pushed on TikTok, which if you, like that video with me and you, that went viral on every single platform. So TikTok like tells you what's gonna work on the other platforms. Mm -hmm. But to be clear, we post the same videos on TikTok that we do on Instagram, the one that we focus on um, YouTube. Yeah, they're shorts, it's the same video. Same video, uh, I mean, cause I don't see a need, if anybody's telling you you need to change things, they're, 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 they're lying. Yeah, But like, yeah. you could do the same video. There's like, I think this is the only time ever, I know, Mr. Beast had a quote, like, this is the only time in history that you can go viral everywhere with the same video. Like, mm -hmm. I firmly believe that. And that's like, if I were just starting today, I would not even mess with, like, long form anything yeah. until I had a minimum of 100K on TikTok. Yeah. And then, because if you get 100K on TikTok, and just for spectrum of people listening, that's only, you average around 5,000 followers for every million viewed video you get. Mm -hmm. It used to be more. I used to see, like, 20 to 30. But if you average that, what's that math? You know, you only need to make, like, 20 viral videos to get yourself to 100k okay so like we started looking at it like that because when we started charging obviously big name people the results were always forefront so we needed to be getting them and views were always the driver of followers and it wasn't the other way around so i never focused on followers i was focused on views how do we get videos that get a lot of views because if you get a lot of views somehow followers just fix the for example like what you said so here's one of my one of my students you know i teach how to build their online fitness business. This is one of my students, Corey Armstrong, right? He used to just trying to do long form. You see, he wasn't really working, right? Yeah, for years. Then then I was like, listen, just focus on shorts. Just focus on shorts. You know, he's, he's doing, he's doing good. good. Oh yeah, it's good to popular. Good. But man, yo, he's crushing it. Yeah. So in one year, he went from like almost, from like under a thousand subscribers to, you know, this year, he got 160,000 subscribers, right? just doing shorts but copying so this whole style of youtube video you you see this shit right you see somebody talking and you see the shit on the screen the words and then the little graphics literally everyone you see doing that got that shit from ryan like ryan invented this fucking style am i right as far as i know yeah no you invented that style in Ju july of 2020 if anybody wants to fact check me you will not find a video on the internet without big bold subtitles that yeah. are very obnoxious July of 2020 on my account. You won't find any anybody before that. And like, you know, you may say, oh, such and such did it first. Odds are such and such hired Ryan to do that. And that's why he did it. You can't say, I don't want to say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't get Ryan in no trouble. But like Ryan started this shit and everybody, including me and my students, <laughs> copy, copy that style. And in this style of, of making shorts with the fucking subtitles and the graphics and shit, like my man Corey, it's like that Here's that got him to me over to like 160,000 subscribers in and, one year. And that's on YouTube. That's probably YouTube. got equal, if not more, on other platforms too. Yeah, no, no, that's still that's his biggest platform. Oh, the yeah. shorts are banging. That's dope. I mean, usually, I mean, he should obviously post all that to TikTok. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He, posts, he posted it. I mean, he, he, it's different. Some people pop off on different platforms too. That's yeah. what we've seen. But now you got, you got like four chances. Yeah. Like every video, because, you know, we have TikTok. Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and Facebook Reels. Yeah. Everybody be sleeping on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook, I mean, my Facebook has, I mean, average is like five to 10 million views a month. Really? Like on Facebook. Facebook. And it makes money. Facebook Reels. Facebook Reels. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to do anything. You just check the box and Instagram is auto posted to Facebook. Ah, uh, so, okay, okay, that makes sense. I mean, Facebook ads on Reels averages, it's around $500 for every million views. Mm. Uh, whereas TikTok, well now, because I've been trying to get you to make your account, we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, TikTok's paying around, you know, a thousand dollars per million views if you make videos over a minute, uh, and that's just like extra money. It's extra money. Like, you know, you you get that five ten k a month and just ad revenue from videos you're gonna post anyways. Like, and those, you know, you know, I love extra money. 
I love extra money. And and here's the, here's why oh, I think short form is so powerful. I just want to share something. You remember when fucking, you know, Facebook does this thing. They've always, when they see another platform doing something well, they fucking copy it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they swallow it, and they swallow it, right? So they took, they would, it, oh, they bought Instagram instead of copying it, right? They bought Instagram, but then Snapchat came through, right? So they said, oh, fuck it, reels, right? And then they started going, and then they saw Periscope, and they said, fuck it, we're gonna go let let you go live on Facebook and Instagram. And I noticed in my life on the internet, every time Facebook w- wants to compete with an or crush another company, they like boost the engagement on that thing. So like when they were trying to kill Periscope, going live on Facebook was crushing. Sometimes I got videos when I went live, they got a hundred million views, hundred million. And then when Reels first came out, everybody was getting crazy amount of views. They, they pushed that thing more, right? And when they put Instagram, when they allowed you to go live on Instagram, they just started pushing that more. And then it dies down. But right now we got, we would call it Meta, right? The Meta is, fa- is Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Right. And we got obviously we got TikTok and then we got Google and they're all fighting each other. I've never seen this before. It's a three way fight for short form content. Mm -hmm. You can say short form vertical content. They're all fighting. They're all trying to win that war. So that's in my opinion, that's why you get way more reach on YouTube shorts than anything else. Right. You get uh, if you post a reel on Instagram, you're going to get more reach. Mm -hmm. And TikTok is that's all TikTok is. But it's a three-way war, and it's usually a two-way war, right? But we never because it, that's where you can benefit, and you can really come up. Mm-hmm. So I've been telling all my students in a high-ticket trainer, yo, man, short-form content, short-form video content, that's all you should be posting. Don't post no pictures on, on Instagram, just fucking reels. Take those same reels, post them on YouTube Shorts, the same shit, put it on TikTok, the same video. And what happens is they blow their shit up. If they consist, they blow their shit up. You know, I never been a fan of trying to make a whole bunch of money off the platform like we talked about that's cool but you post that to your fucking product or service right these is like advertising these views are going to be helping you um push your product or service like Corey, my man Corey, he makes almost no money off youtube ads like nothing significant even though he's got a lot of views but i know i talked to him today because i talked to my students every week uh he, he made forty thousand dollars this month from his online fitness business forty right and all he does is make content to push people um, to his, his online training. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the game plan, that, right? I, I mean, I, I would say um, the amount of time that anybody put into, I would say they should go live in addition to shorts, but that's mm-hmm. like something, that's a whole other thing, but it, as far as it just helps you get better and faster at making videos. Oh, it helps you. Okay, the, let's talk about that. What do you think are your secrets? Why are your videos, the videos you do for other people, aside from you inventing that style, but now a lot of people are doing this style. Yeah, it's not the style. Is style it, don't make What What is it about? you that makes it better because every time someone comes to me i say yo talk to ryan he's the best at short form content i mean i have a very great team which is all we focus on is this 24 7. like we have people that watch videos we have people that edit videos we have people that film videos Mm. i mean so there's like i have like a data (laughs) factory if i work with one client it's like we immediately see what works for all the clients and we don't Uh. focus and what makes us different is like i'm considered anti-niche which, you know, funny enough, is you're one of the biggest people we work with and yeah. you have a niche. Yeah. And a very defined one. And I can give you some love. Other than as far as I know, GC, you make more money than all of my clients. Come on, what, say that again? <laughs> say it again? As far as I know, besides Cardone, you make more money than all of my clients. Aside from Uncle G. Hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Everybody just soak that in. <laughs> Everybody just soak that in. Gymnasium Jesus is number one again. But yeah, so you, we focus on making content that is is more defined around the person and the personality, mm. not their niche. Yeah. Because I truly believe that the, the internet has changed. Whereas like if you're trying to just make niche content, yes, you might make money at some point, but you're only going to reach a certain small demographic of people that yeah. are interested in that certain thing. You know, there are certain niches per se that are bigger than others, like health. Yeah. Everybody's fat. So yeah, they all talking about fitness. Yeah. You can get away with yeah. just just niching down to fitness. You know, That's what finance. Like everybody's got a wallet. Everybody want money. Everybody, everybody got a wallet. You know, everybody those are like two like if you're well and like anything like investing, which is like real estate, like stocks, crypto, like those tend to get a lot of raised because it's like, but if you really break things down and, and if you go to anybody's account and do what we just did on YouTube and look mm-hmm. at popular videos, you can do it on TikTok. You do. Uh, you can't do it on Instagram yet. We have a software that's going to help you do that soon. Mm. Um, but you just look at their most popular videos, and you can see that 
while they may think that they're making niche videos, all those videos are about like, what we do, like watches, or mm -hmm. here's how to invest, or here's how to start a business, here's that. So you, people need to learn how to make videos that can attract a wide demographic, mm -hmm. as far as the more shares you can get, the more people that are gonna watch it. Is there a point where you feel like it gets too wide? I always look back at what we do with you. Yeah. We made a video about lobsters that- We did on. make that video about I, lobsters. I mean, you know, we do a lot of stuff with you without like, we just try, hey, let's see if it works. I break the rules. <laughs> and and <laughs> it, it, it works. Pay the test shit on me, cause but, it's gonna work cause I'm doing it. But one of the like the realizations that me and my team had was you had a video that we made about your PDD taking your, un the underwear back from the from the oh, fitness yeah, volume, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was a, just a story you shared personally. Yeah, that you articulated it well and had a good hook and it went viral. Yeah, and I, and you would think, what the fuck does this? How is this gonna make brand any money whatsoever? Mm -hmm. It's like about him giving his underwear back as if it is follow. Yeah, well that video alone on TikTok drove you like twenty four thousand followers. Twenty four thousand followers. Yeah, you know, there's always a weird thing where it's like if you go broad, you may get more people, but if you do social media to make money, then it's like, ah, all those people may not be helpful, right? Cause they might not be, the, they're not your, your client. I, I would say that that's true like now, but a year from now, and I use this example for fitness professionals all the time. Yeah. Cause we worked, uh, we, we worked with uh, Ryan Fisher on Talk Performance and I did a oh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, I did a podcast with him and he was like, I said, you have a program. If somebody finds you on the internet, maybe they find your niche content, they like your workout, they do your workout, they buy your program or they buy your coaching. Let's say they do it for eight to 12 weeks. Maybe they really like you and they stick with it for a year. Yeah. After a year, what happens? They probably get bored. They want to try a new program. Mm. That doesn't mean they don't like you. They're, yeah. they're bored of your program. So they're going to move on. Maybe they go to CrossFit. Maybe well, they go to- you know. No, I understand what you're yeah. saying. However, I guess the way I would push back on that is like, if you go so broad that it's like not even in his, it's not even somebody who wants to get fit. Well, that's, if you leave fit, if he leaves fitness, that would be too broad, right? To a, to a degree. But what I say, like, so if you circle back around and they come back. So after a year, the only reason that they're going to stick around and keep watching you is if they like you as a person. Mm -hmm. Then that. they're going to stick with you forever because mm -hmm. they like you as a person. They may circle back around and buy your program again later on or join your yeah. coaching program, whatever, you know, but regardless, it's all about you and your personality. So yes, there is like certain videos that are just purely personality based that is just going to make some random person just like you. But what's to say odds are they follow you long enough. They're probably going to invest in something, whether it be a super chat on your mm -hmm. live, whether it be, you know, your coaching program, whether it be thought repellent, like whether yeah, they, they might, they, they might eat some thought repellent. They might buy something if not in now, I understand that it's very hard to calculate an ROI on that. Mm -hmm. But what I learned from working with the people that we worked with is yes, money is always the focus. It's always an ROI. Mm -hmm. But it was Adley Stump who changed my perception of like views and niche videos. And she was the first client I worked with. That she, like I would like give her a report every month. Hey, you gained this many followers. You didn't. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. And she's like, I don't care how many views did I get? How many views did I get? After like three or four months, I was like, I just stopped making the report because she didn't care anymore. I just sent her one number. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, why don't you care about followers? Because everybody I've ever talked to, because I come from the direct marketing world. Yeah. Everybody only cares about cares about followers. Why do why do you not care about followers? And she said, because views are a byproduct. Followers are a byproduct of views. You get enough views, you're naturally going to get followers. Yeah. And those followers will buy something or do something or just continue to watch your shit. So no matter what, even if they never buy your coaching program, they're gonna watch all your stuff and you're still gonna get that ad revenue. Yeah, yeah. You know, and she, I mean, now mind you, there's like kind of a dice, you know, I had to merge what she said because her business is based off all of ad revenue and brand deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she makes more than anybody I know mm. in, that in that expertise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas you make more than anybody I know from selling coaching. Yeah. You know, so it's like, how do I take those two? And I was like, well, broad reach education. As long as the video is educating, mm -hmm. educating someone to a degree or touching them in some way, as far as like a personal story or like a lesson, then it's fair game. Yeah. You know, cause that's influence. Yeah. You know, so that's, and then we just saw early on, cause even on my account, I was a niched video creator. I started my TikTok teaching other TikTokers how to make videos. Yeah. Like now, if you look at my first like hundred videos, that's what they all are. Mm. And not a single one of those ever got more than a million views, mm. which don't get me wrong. Like five, there's a couple of 500 Ks, those are nice. Yeah. But it wasn't until I, you know, Luis who works with me, he was like, yo, let's, let's just try some like, you know, social skill videos, like some dating videos. Mm. Cause I was actually going to speak to a group of like a mastermind more for social circle and like building a business. And I just plopped my cameras aside and I started sharing how to make friends. Yeah. And that was the first video I got. It's still, it's pinned to my profile. It's like 6 million views and it gained 60,000 followers. Mm. So you, so what, what I'm hearing is they got to have a business model already anyway, mm -hmm. right? And then if they, it's like you want to get it, you, for your strategies, you get as many views as possible. And then 
if they have a business strategy, then they'll still make money mm-hmm. from whatever their business is. Yeah. Because a certain amount of people within those views uh, will, will still want to purchase the product. Right. And so basically what you're recommending is casting a, a wider net. The biggest what, net possible. The biggest net possible. Well, cause, and if you break it down on a million, like, because this is what we, like, I explain this, because most of our clients, like the best ones come to, come to us and they're just like, I already have a business model in place. Yeah. I already have my money in place. Yeah. I just need more eyeballs. Yeah. That's what it really works. Whereas like on the other spectrum, I, I've also worked with people that, that every video we make, yeah. they're like trying to ROI from it. I'm like, that. that's a bad client for me. That doesn't, in the end, that will not work out. Yeah. One, because I charge too much. <laughs> and and you, you charge too much in the strategy. I think in the beginning, you kind of got to be more niche, I think, right? Mm-hmm. This, this is a niche to get the business going and sort of business is, is running. But then when you get bigger, then you can do more like branding. Like for example, Coca-Cola will have a billboard up and everybody who drives down that street in Miami is gonna see the billboard, but not everybody even drinks Coca-Cola, yeah. right? Some people are diabetic, right? You know, they can't have no sugar. So, but they just know that enough of the right people will see it. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of how I think about it now at the, at the place I'm at, where it's like, okay, I can go super broad and it doesn't even matter well but the but the way that like uh, if you get a million views and I, people just don't i don't think they register what happens when you get a million views mm. so when you get a million views yes the, the only way that that happens is if somebody starts the video yeah and then watches it till the end mm. so 50 percent of the people that do that like watch your video all the way start to finish so on a million views that's five hundred thousand people so now 500 people have just told the algorithm i really like brandon carter yeah. The way he explained lobsters had yeah. me cracking yeah. up. Yeah. Now, of those 500,000 people, how many of those people are out of shape? Statistically, a lot. Yeah, statistically, a lot. Yeah. Okay. So now, all your other videos, because we still do some niche based videos yeah, here and there. Sure. Like, and I don't tell people not to do this. Mm-hmm. I just think 80% of your shit should be to go wide uh, and 20% of your shit should be to go narrow. Okay. No, I like this. And you could even skew it 90 10 if you're just starting to grow because you're going to grow more and faster. Mm-hmm. But when you have those, now now we have those 500 people that are like, man, I'm fat, I need fitness advice. They just told the algorithm, I like that Brandon guy. He's jacked, he's shiny, he looks good on camera. He yelled at me. <laughs> now all your old videos nah, are gonna get, old. are they gonna start seeing those? And they may not swipe away on some, like some other ones, but then it's like, okay, now we have, you have a lot of watch videos. So now you have mm. a viral watch video. Let's say that gets 5 million views. Now 2.5 million watch it. Now, it's just, I would rather work with a pool of big, a, a larger audience yeah. than a smaller one. Cause even if you made the best ab workout video, you know, you might see a million views on it, mm-hmm. you know, cause not a lot of people are trying to get abs. There's still statistically more people that are trying to make enough, make more money than want abs. Everybody wants more money. They know abs is hard work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Okay. Okay. So it's like, so now if you just made, here's how I get my money videos. Yeah. You're going to surpass ab videos. And then if you go, oh, well, here's how to sleep better. Now you're going to surpass abs and money because everybody sleeps, you know, or here's a morning, sorry, morning routine videos. Everybody well. sleeps. Everybody sleeps. Everybody sleeps. Everybody wakes up. They have a morning routine. <laughs> everybody wakes up. You know, so it's almost, you know, it's, it's let's say fuck with my money, <laughs> in which case. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the point being is if you're, if you're based in a model of like, I need to make a certain number of videos every month, break it down to like, okay, you know, which I recommend, like it, it used to be, you could get away with one video a day. Like we switched pretty much all of our clients to two videos a day. Mm. And a lot of people talk about my growth on social media and your growth on social media. I post nine videos a day because I'm not as cool as you. We post six to eight for you. So you have to maintain a high volume of content for a long Six to eight uh, around different platforms or all the one? That's six unique videos every day to TikTok, Reels, Shorts. I'm posting six videos a day on mm-hmm. Shorts? Holy sh- yeah, that's why you pay a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we out here. But but yeah, so now I don't recommend it's like working out. Like you're not gonna start making videos today and be able to sustain, you know, being able to crank out 250 videos a month. Yeah. Like that's just not like you it's like a muscle. But if you remember, like people like I like, love to talk about your growth, but I'm like, well, Brandon's work was for like almost two years. Mm. The first year, like, we almost got you to hundred K. On on yeah on, on on TikTok on TikTok yeah, yeah. and then it was like hey I want to go harder so we went way harder way harder and it took like less than a year to go from 100k to 400k yeah you know but the, the more impressive thing is just the view I think people should get away from or like the follower count ah uh, look at the views 